it's Sandy Parker and welcome to Crafting for Almost Everyone. My friend Jenny asked me if I would show her how to make a dangle charm and honestly I tr really tried and struggled with this until I figured out a way I could do this. Now uh, for those of you who are completely strong with your wrists and your hands this isn't an issue for you but for people like me where I don't have as much strength the thing that was hard was taking one of those pins, I'll show it to you you take a pin that looks like that, hopefully you can see it, and you string everything on and then you bend it around to make loops. I really struggled with that and so I decided there had to be an alternate way to make a dangle. So what I did was I went through my mother's old jewelry. My mother passed away and I inherited a lot of uh, unusual vintage jewelry and so what I thought I would do is walk you through what I've been able to do with it and um, so far I took a bracelet and I don't know if you can see this very well and it was a crazy vintage -y 80s look that had all kinds of really fun dangles on it and so far I've taken the the hook from it and I've attached some pieces to it. So I thought what I would do is do a little bit more of that because I have some other really fun beads from it. And then I thought I would take a keychain and turn it into something more dangly as well. So with that, let's start with how to do this. What I found, and I'm no expert, obviously, I'm very, very new to this, but what I found was I'm better if I use two of these at, on, at once, like two hands. And um, the other thing I found was when I'm attaching anything, it's better to have two rings attached to it than one because if you have two, you end up having, hopefully you can see that, hopefully um, there, it, it, I bent it away from itself, not unhinged. You want to bend your pieces like, um, let me show you, you take your your tools and you pull it together this way, hold on, I'm not doing it right, like that, it's easier for me to do it like that than it is, you know, because of, of the strength thing, um, but you don't want to pull it out like that, because if you do, your loop won't go back together well, so hopefully my loop is almost together, let me squeeze it together one more time. And then I'm going to take a second one of those rings and attach it to it. And I just found a variety of these uh, little, uh, I guess they're called O-rings, maybe they're not, but it looks like an O to me. I've just taken a bunch of these and um, that I found in her jewelry and I'm just using them. So I'm trying to find one that there's one that I can see the... Um, opening on. So you just pull it back like that. I don't know if you can see that. And then you just take your other piece, you attach it to it. And then in this case, I think I'm going to attach it down on the lower loop and then I can put more um, more dangled from it so that, hold on, I'll show you that. Okay, so now my dangle is longer because I put that piece below it. I have to do one more little bend there. I hope you can see this well. I'm not sure how close I need to zoom in or if I'm too close or too far away. There's that piece. And so then if you want to take, like let's say you want, I'm trying to find a piece that's unusual. I guess we could use this one. So all you do is you just, dissect the the brace that you currently have and you find pieces on it that you like and you just take them off and let me see where the loop is on that it's right there not the loop the opening of the loop hopefully you can tell some of these are a lot tougher to bend than others and as I said, I'm not very strong, so that's the other problem. Okay, there's that one. And um, it worked, like I said, it worked better for me when I did two loops. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a second loop, lay it in there. 
Then I'm going to put this on the bottom of this loop and we'll close this one back up. Let me see if I can zoom in more so you can see this better. This is the piece that we're working with and this is the new new one that we're going to put on there and I want to put this put that on there and then you're going to hold your hold your dangle up and then decide where in your dangle you want to put it and I think I'm going to put it right bes on the loop right beside the new one I just put on there that new pearl I need to open that a little bit more I try not to open them too much because it's a lot easier to close them if you don't open them too much. And then I think before I close that up, maybe I'll put one of these little one of these little things on it. So let me just lay that gently down so it doesn't come apart. Let's see. I think I'm gonna do this one because I don't think I have anything like this on here. And then I can just put it on the same loop as the other one. So if you have old jewelry laying around and you have a couple pairs of pliers, you can really pretty much do this. All you have to do is take all the the pieces off and um, put them back on the new the new spot. Okay, there's. Wait a minute. Let me close that up first. Since these are both open, I might as well just close one of them. I know a lot of you were probably pained watching me do this because I'm not very skilled at it, but on the flip side, if you have issues like me and you want to know if you could do this, I'm showing you how you could do it. I think, let's see, if I put this one, I think I'm going to put this one up at the top where I have these other little pieces of metally looking things. There's that. The other thing that's nice about using an old bracelet is that you are you already know everything in it matches so there's no cons you know like if I put things together that are you know one is one of these things is not like the other I don't you know I don't I don't like to guess about things like that so in this case you're you're using a bracelet that's already um, it's already matching and everything in it will look good together so you don't need to worry about that. So now let's look at the top of it. I forgot where the top was. It looks like in this, hold on I'm going to lay it down so you can see it really good. It looks like it needs something in this section so I think I'm going to take some of these pearls that have metal toppers on it and I really like this one because the loop is already bent. So I'll be able to get it off really easily, like that. I told, I sent Jenny an email yesterday and said, I definitely can't do this. I tried, I failed, I just can't do it. And then after I sent it, I thought, I'm not that big of a quitter. I'm going to figure out a way to make this so that I can do something with it. I just wanted to make sure that she understood that I, I wouldn't give up. And so that's why today I started back in at it and decided I could do it. I really tried I could do this and uh, so far it's going pretty well. I'm going to pick it up again and hang it on that little loop right there. The other thing that's nice is when you have the double loop system you can use, sorry, you can use your double loop to put another one on. You know like the, in this case I just attached another one to it. I actually found the best way for me to d to put these back together is just squeezing them with this, you know, taking the weird loop and putting it like that. So now let's look at it. I think that looks a little bit better. I could add things with more color in them, but I'm I don't really want to get get out of the idea of just doing it with pearls and things that match pearls. Maybe I'll put this down in this bottom section. I have this other piece that I think would look really nice in here, but I want to put another loop on it because I want this one to really be hanging loose 
versus not. So I put the loop on it, and I'm explain I explained that paddle thing, but I'm gonna show it to you now. I have better results with this when I just take the paddle one and just push them together like that than I do um, the other, you know, how the other the other way where you're taking both and squeezing them together. Um, I don't seem to have as much luck with that because I think I'm not strong enough to do it. So there is my dangle. You could put more on it. I'm sure that would be fine, but that's all I'm going to do. And what I thought I would do with it is, you know how you buy these? These are the the container, the holders for the Bath and Body Works antibacterials. Well, you can buy these that are decorated that are not very inexpensive. Or you could take your dangle and put it on there so that in the end, you have a very inexpensive and recycled piece of art, we'll call it, and that's all it took to do it. I'm going to do one more thing real quickly, and that is, let's say, <coughs> excuse me, let's say you bought a keychain and you're not really overly impressed with it. I already added a couple loops to the top, and what I'm going to do with that is, you can see there's the loops I added. What I thought I would do is I would add some bigger, bigger chunky things to go on it. Oops, I dropped that. Add this to it and close that back up. You see how I pinch that together? So there is that little piece. Then I thought I would add a couple more little dangles to it. And these were things that I had bought. They were earrings that I bought, and I thought that it would be fun to just change them out into something else. So I'm going to just put a couple loops on this, and put another loop on it. Close that one up. Okay, someone, whoever made this one, you see how that one, they overlap the loop? That's a little weird. I'm going to just have to bend that back like that and see if I can make it work. And I'm just going to hang it on one of my loops. And then I'm going to close that one back up the way it was. I'm not going to be able to close it the other way because it was already closed that odd way. And then I have this loop to hang everything on. And I think I'm going to put another piece on this. Pull that back. And I have this. It's a little locket. I'm going to add one more loop to the top of this. And then I'm going to take the whole thing and attach it to, let's say, the, the third, third one of the links on my keychain. And hopefully straightened out more. That looks better. Okay, so then we'll look at it again and see how we're doing. I think it just needs a little bit more bling. So I'm going to grab a couple more things that will be blingy. So I think what I, I'm going to do is just kind of twist this. It might be easier to just do it with my hands than it is with a tool. Okay, and then I'm going to put my loop through there. I'll cut this off as close as I can to the twist. We'll call it the twist. And then I'm going to squeeze that down if I can so that it doesn't cut anybody. Or else I'll just pinch it up so that I can snap that part off. That's better. One more part that needs to be... I don't want it to be sharp. Okay, then we're going to take a silver loop. Put my loop in. I know you can't see anything right now. Just ignore that part. You'll see it in a second. Okay. Take those. Kind of tricky to do when you have a bead right there. Then I'm going to add another loop, because you know I like two loops. And, let's see, so we just hang.
saying that somewhere? Why not? Hang it on the bottom. That's a dilemma because it's so much fun to hang things. I just don't know where I want to hang them. Oh, I know what I want to do. I think I'm going to hang it from the bottom of this. Hopefully you saw that. So now my loop or my piece looks like that. And then I'll add another loop to this. Then I think I'm going to put it in this second. Open a little bit more, I think. So now I've taken a boring, not that fun keychain and I've turned it into something blingy and fun. So that's the blingy keychain and here is our blingy hanger. <clears throat> Jenny, I hope that I did a decent job of showing you how I would do this um, and if you have some old jewelry laying around, get a couple pairs of pliers. It doesn't need to be jewelry pliers. It can be any kind of pliers. And, um, and using the rings that are on your bracelet, take them off and use them as part of your project. I think it's lots of fun, and I really enjoy doing it. I hope you'll give this a thumbs up. Give it a try. Send me a copy of or a photo of it on Facebook. I'd love that. And thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.